Hello there, we are reporting live from BYU campus in front of uh, Legends Grill. I'm kind of cool. I'm Sai Tao too. I'm Michael Davis. And mm. right now we are going to be talking to you guys about dance and football. Alright, we're here with our man Moose, SAB34. Mm -hmm. uh, we just wanted to know what you think uh, dance and football have to do with each other. Well, every football celebration ends in a dance. Like, there's the football spin or the haka to begin the dance, the right, uh, right. football game. So, do you have any uh, of your favorite um, celebrations that you would like to After you make a field goal, with what dance do you do? Well, I've got pistol shooters, the moose. The moose! And then you always gotta get the catching fire. If you going on, <laughs> I like going. Hey! Well, those are my three dances right there. Thank you. You're welcome. This is uh, live in the uh, BYU campus outside of the Smithfield House. Uh, it's Daniel Swanson. So, Daddy, uh, how do you think uh, football and dance to relate? Oh, there's a direct correlation, I feel like. Uh, you can't have one without the other. That's what I like. So, uh, do you have any uh, certain celebrations you do that you'd like to share? Uh, yeah, this is uh, my personal favorite. It goes like this. <laughs> All right. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Out to again reporting live with Travis Tuiloma. Travis, tell me, how does dance help you in football? Yo, yo, yo. Dance helped me get hyped up, get crazy, get crump. Oh, let me up. see you get crazy. Ooh, crump moves. That's what's up. Reporting <laughs> live from uh, the SAB. I'm here with uh, Tui Crichton. So how does uh, dance and football go together? Uh, dance and football goes together like peanut butter and jelly. You know, it just works. And uh, some things that I like to do before my football games is I like to dance to kind of warm up. So I like to, you know, okay. <laughs> Algy Brown, how does dance make you a better football player? Helps me with my footwork. Footwork? Yep. Show me your dancing footwork. We're live from the third floor of the SAB here with my man Louis. Louis, so uh, dancing football, how do you feel it affects you? Well, dancing just helps me get my emotions, you know, lets me get it out, helps me get moving. Okay. Yeah, it's just like uh, get your groove on. Gets my groove. I feel the vibes, vibes from the toes all the way to my hair tips. You know, and then Ooh. I just start playing well, all things right. like that. Right. Would you would you mind showing us some of the music? Yeah, I just need some music. Oh, we need some music. Yeah. Cue the music. How do you think dance and football are similar? Well, if you can dance, that means that you move a lot better on the football field. Show me how you move on the football field. So you, if you're flexible and a good dancer, you can uh, do certain moves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, if you're running back, you just, it's like a dance move right there. Unleash the flutes on them, go roll! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Bronson Confuci, big number 90. Bronson, how does dance and football work in your favor? Dance and football. Man, that's a great question. When I dance during football games, it gets the blood going. Gets your blood going. It gets your blood pumping. So you dance for emotional purposes. Tons of emotion. So what's your favorite celebration dance after you get a sack? Throw your fist up in the air like you just don't care. Do it. It's in the palm of your hand now, baby. It's a yes or no. <laughs> and that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. We're here with Brian Sampson, number 85, big tight end for BYU. Do you think that dancing helps your football abilities? Actually, from the beginning, I had to give up dance to play football. That was from the main recruiting. Wow, I've noticed that your celebration dances are over the top. Like the the Absolutely right. Like what you need? What, what you need? I got what you need. Okay. What, what you need? We're here with Graham Rowley, 
defensive end for BYU. Graham, how do you think dance and football complement each other? Well, especially on the D-line, you, you have to have pretty good hips. I think, you know, dancing, and I'm not a very good dancer, like you are, but I just think hips are very important. Just like how we have to, we have to move our hips to get around people. Can you show us how you have to move your hips? Johnson and Theodore King. How does dance help you guys be better football players? Footwork. Footwork? It's actually good. Good hip movement. Hip movement. Hey, can we see some of that hip movement? A little wiggle. Hey! Kane is in the building. <laughs>